Hey guys, welcome to another night in the shop. Uh, we're going to do a little project on uh, my lathe here. Uh, let me turn the volume down on this smartphone. We're going to take this little piece of uh, aluminum. We're going to make it like, sort of like a quill stop for the, uh, the, uh, the tailstock on the lathe. What I want to do is uh, drill a hole, split it, and or actually you know, we're going to uh, bore the hole on the mill split it put a screw in it so what i got is a um an indicator piece on the tailstock when i'm drilling and uh i always got to pull out the stair and check the depth and back and forth so uh this tonight's project i just got to finish off the top here and we're going to stick that in the mill and uh use my little uh mill hog there that was one of my first bits that i bought about uh, 15 years ago uh, to cut the edge of this here or face the edge of this here and then we're going to face this and we're going to face that and we're, we do that we're going to use this new uh, new uh, shell mill so okay let's get on with it okay stay tuned So what I'm going to do here is face this. I'm going to level it off with my little precision square here. And we'll take a little bit off here. Then we're going to flip it on its side, inside the vise. Clean this up. Clean this up. Then uh, there's a few procedures here. We're going to take the uh, rotor table mounted to the, mounted to the uh, mill. And we're going to do the, uh, the small hole at 1.575. And do the edges, and uh, you'll see as it goes along. I got everything on my my CAD, which is called the Notepad. <laughs> I mean, paper Notepad. How it's all dimensioned, anyway. So uh, let's get started. Let's finish off. You can see I finished off these sides here. I got home tonight, and uh, yeah, I was kind of tired and needed a little break there. And uh, now we're gonna do this side here with this this uh, old mill that I have had for a large amount of years. I think this one here was a, this is a, this one was made in Poland, really good in mill. Um, I made my uh, first uh, tool post holder on my uh, lathe when I first got that. So, all right, so let's get that all leveled up. I'll give you more shots here because, um, As we go along, I'm going to put up my uh, my blast windows because I just hate the freaking crap that flies all over, pardon my expression, the freaking place. So uh, I made these little uh, uh, Lexan glass doors. I won't put them on that end or you won't be able to see, so we'll, we'll stick with just the one. That'll help it from uh, moving around. And like I said in my other videos, when I drag this stuff into the uh, my side door there, I take my shoes off, but the freaking stuff is stuck to my pants and everything. And then when the wife steps on it, there's all hell to pay. So yeah, so let's get started here and uh, take the lock off. Get a touch off. I'm running this about 1,000 RPM. It's a small one, small end mill. They call it a little hogger or something like that. There's so many different ones out there. So we'll take the outside edge first, block the table off here. And uh, what I'm going to do is just going to move you out so the uh, Give me a little zoom in. Got to put a little air on this to remove the uh, the chips. Not too much, and away we go. I'm only taking off about uh, ten thou. I'll take off a. Uh, 
another cut to get rid of all the little dents because I use this for uh, knocking in some bearings and beat the shit out of it on the ends here. So we'll uh, we'll get that all cleaned up. Sorry about the noise. Compress is running. Air is compress compressing, <laughs> and uh, we'll go from there. Quarter cut here, 250 foul, and clean it right up there. Now we're making some chips. So okay, the, uh, we're little harder, turn the air uh, off here, and we're down here. to uh, dimensions a, uh, on that one. Three quarter inch. Let me just move you out. Uh, let me make sure I got you in the here we go. focus here. Sorry about that. I'm trying this remote control with the uh, phone. And uh, it uses uh, TPG inserts. Uh, this particular unit was uh, made in Poland, three quarter by three Clean quarter. Clean that up there. This is like I said, I you know those little rough ever edges. Indexing sure. that I ever bought. Cool. I used uh, um, nicks off the, there. Uh, uh, chaos so that's a. Uh, but this turned out to, to be. That's uh, pretty well done there. Very good. Uh, so what we're gonna do now? Taking deep, deep cuts. Let me just zoom you out here. Uh, mild steel and aluminum. Anyways, so yeah, that's uh uses a TPG inserts. We're just gonna clean Two, off this edge, three quarter inch, make it right. uh, flush, hundred percent. So I've got the new uh, shell mill in there. So we'll, uh, we're gonna give it a uh, shot. On there. It's got the. Uh, I'll get that set up in the vise. Degree square inserts. I got this. Uh, and uh, we'll come back. All right. Uh, to size, Hang in there. Um, industrial. Uh, Guy named Dave. I'm going to get some uh, links and stuff to put up. This guy is a very nice guy to deal with when you need uh, um, carbides, um, holding tools of any sort. He's got like uh, just a, a ton of uh, machine stuff. One, two, three blocks, you know, all kinds of stuff for uh, machining. Anyways. Give me a second. Let me get uh, get all set up here, and uh, we'll talk you off, and we'll give her a whirl. All right. Okay, so I've got this set to take off about thirty thou. Let's uh, let's give her shit and see what happens. I will uh, get you all set up here. Hang on here. Oh yeah, we got chips flying all over the frickin' place now. I've got it set at about 800 RPM. And, uh, yeah, I'm really gonna clean up after this. And she's uh, cutting pretty good. Lots of chips. Okay, I'm just going to feed the tail back and take off that little bit on the end. Um, yes, I am. Uh, I am real happy about that. So uh, let's get it moved over. Lock off the table. 
and uh, give it another shot. So I'll give you a close up if I can. I'll just uh, adjust the camera here. I want to try to give you as much info as I can on how I'm doing this. So, I said I would. I'm going to. All right. No vibration in the table, none in the chuck. Everything's uh, going pretty good. Go back there. Okay, we'll turn that off and let me uh, just swap that piece upside down to get both sides done. I've got my parallels in there. Let me just give it a Quick filing here to get the burrs off the edge. We do want it to sit right inside the jaws of the chuck. Hey guys, thank you for subscribing. Thank you for uh, watching. I will uh, get back to you uh, probably tomorrow night to do set this up on the rotary table and we're gonna cut a nice little radius on there. We're gonna put it back in the mill and use my uh, new slitting saws to cut that down, thread it and fit it to the end of the vise. Again, guys, thank you so much for watching, subscribing, and you guys have a great night. Awesome.